What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to uh, today. We're playing some arena, and the reason is that tomorrow we are playing in a uh, Twitch Rivals event here on Twitch, uh, and it's going to be at 1 p.m. Eastern time, so 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, and. Yep, Ollie and, Ollie and I will both be playing. It's going to be six rounds, and uh, it's a 10K tournament, <clears throat> which is pretty sweet, so be sure to check that out. Unfortunately, one thing that will be happening is I'll be streaming on a five-minute delay. Everyone will be, uh, simply because it's a sizable monetary prize, and uh, you just want to take precautions. I don't think anyone is going to probably cheat in the event, but, um, you know, you got to do what you got to do. It's the age of uh, streaming your hand. Right, I'm giving the information away for free anyway. So anyway, uh, this is a deck I've been leaning towards. It is basically a four-color dragons list. I've been playing it a, a good bit. It basically has Dragon's Horde, Sarkon, uh, Nicobolus, Teferi, and Niv-Mizzet. So some of the strongest cards in the format. It also it had four Deafening Clarion. I took one out, and I put in a Rekindling Phoenix instead because I like having another four drop that can block uh, all of the the nerds. The uh, Kerwit, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. Um, also worth noting that we are now down to 494 subs. We lost about 60 over the weekend uh, due to a bunch of gifted subs expiring. So if you guys want to support the stream and uh, resub, really appreciate it. It would definitely help get us over the 500 hump again. It feels like we're probably never hitting 600. I think we've uh, stabilized at a nice 500 hovering around there. So uh, that's just our life now. And that's fine. I, I accept that. I'm, I'm pretty content with where I am on Twitch, but uh, it would be nice to see a little more upward momentum. Anyway, the deck is pretty sweet. Um, I added one dive down. There were three charter cores. I took one out for one dive down because it's basically a counter spell to protect your limited threats. You don't have that many threats. You have seven dragons, four Nicobolas, and three Niv Mizzet. <clears throat> and uh, Haji Gulashi with the gifted subs. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you. I love you guys. I love you guys. You guys are great, but like, I do worry about the the retention of the gifted subs. Anyway, I uh, I'm not gonna look a gift sub in the mouth. So really, really appreciate it. you guys are great. Thank you so much. And um, yeah. Anyway, about this deck. Sideboard is one dive down, two negates, two moment of craving, two invoke, two thief, two, one def the other deafening clarion I just stuck in the sideboard just in case. Two star of extinction, two expansion explosion, and the fourth brass because contempt is in the sideboard. You guys can see the deck on the overlay, but if you're watching on, on YouTube, I will also put it in the description below so you can check it out there. Um, but for now, <clears throat> I also had to buy all my own packs. Like It's it's really weird because the event is uh, it's 10k, so the first place is 3k, and then it pays down to top 16 which gets 250 Thank you. but i literally had to spend like 200 dollars on packs in the store so it's really strange to uh get invited to an event and then have to spend josh did you did you do more than 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 Thank okay you. good okay i think haji galashi also went a little crazy you guys are awesome thank you so much you guys are unbelievable is it bo1 or bo3 i have no idea i don't know what that means thank you um. Thank you guys so much. You guys are great. Thank you. I was gonna say something. I forgot what it was. Oh yeah, I had to spend like two hundred dollars on packs, which is weird feeling when you're like trying to win like at the bare minimum two fifty. So um, it's best of three. It's a it's a regular event. And so we're gonna back out of Thank this. You. Go to home. <clears throat> And then we're going to play a traditional constructed. We're going to play in this. This is like a traditional constructed event. You play until you get five wins or two losses. Which is pretty good. And, um... Yeah. I mean, I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell you. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll purchase this item. We will use our dragon deck and we'll try it out. I did make some changes <clears throat> from last night, as I mentioned. So we'll see if the new uh, additions help it out. I also fixed the mana base a little bit. I, I changed like two or three lands. Not a ton. But I wanted another black source because, well, we didn't have that many. Bl like, we have Vraska's Contempt, but we actually didn't have that many black sources. We had, like, eight black sources. We also have Dragon's Horde, too. Uh, trip was alright. I had a good time. I cut it short, came home early, but... 
you know. See, and I, we have both Charticorse in hand right now. And I'm not in love with Charticorse because you don't have enough dragons to really be attacking with it. Although I think it's mitigated by having 26 lands in the deck. So you want to be able to just disc Ow. discard a land. So here I'm probably just going to discard a Deafening Clarion. Or a Steam Vents. Hmm, interesting. I don't really want to discard a land when we only have... My concern is if they're black-white, they might be pretty aggressive. So maybe, I mean, it might be just best to keep both of these. What were the New York City eats? Um, So it's weird. When I go to New York City, I actually don't eat in a ton of, like... New York's weird because they have a lot of, like, casual places. Like, they have a lot of, like, hole-in-the-wall places that you can eat. And they're not they're probably not super well-known. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of their chart, of course. Uh, or you can go to super well-known restaurants, but those are always super pricey. So it's kind of, like, hard to... I've noticed that, like, while New York City has a pedigree for for great restaurants... Oh, wow, that was, like, the perfect draw. It wasn't actually the perfect draw. I thought this was a Steam Vents. This is actually one of the issues I've had with the deck. So now we could actually play this this turn and then Clifftop untap next turn. But now we're going to take an extra two. This, So that's not ideal. But maybe we actually play this tap and get better value out of, out of our... Well, that's disgusting and probably unbeatable. I Three Legion Lieutenants, probably more than I can deal with. So, Even if we block one, we still take 12. So, Cool game. I'm having a good time. Alright, Syncopates are coming out. Moments are coming in. The other Deafening Clarion can come in. Take one Teferi out. Take out a Charter Course. Bring Nebraska's Contempt. That yeah, should be fine. <coughs> I will play first. That was a fun game. I had a good time. Yep, another fun game. Having a good time. 26 lands. Two one land hands. You know what? Sure. Yeah, one of the things you want to you wanna keep in mind is that, like, steam vents will often look like a... <laughs> um, a sulfur falls... I mean, 24 and 26 are optimum for most clients. I mean, most magic decks, right? Like, Thank you. I'm not under the impression that the shuffler is bugged or that there's like a, a different shuffler that isn't totally random. So, I mean, if it's like, if you're not, if you think 24 to 26 is fine for a normal magic deck, it's also fine for MTGA. Leovol, thank you so much. Really appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're probably just going to try to course here. I don't want to miss land drops. So, well, I'm going to. I guess we have this. I mean, I guess if we hit land Dragon Sword, we do have a Teferi the turn after that, but. Nope. No such luck. Alright, Deafening Clay around next turn, I guess. 26 lands and missing land drops in every game. All right, well, at least now we can Clarion, to the best of my knowledge. One, two, three, yep, that's a land drop again. All right. Still have seven cards in hand. That seems reasonable. Why do they have eight cards in hand? I guess they've missed land drops, too. I mean, it's probably because the Vampire deck is extremely cheap to build. That would be my guess. This isn't a fight you can win. So do I want to actually get rid of this? Because next turn, we'll, if they play guys, we're going to have to get rid of it anyway. I'm 
I'll just Let's draw a card. Alright, well that does let us play Niv Mizzet next turn. And then we can actually <clears throat> draw a card with Teferi and shoot something. But it's gonna be a 2 2 at the very least. So it's probably gonna be. They're probably gonna make 3 2 2s. That's my bet. Rogue, uh, Rogue Optic, thank you so much, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Happy five months, buddy. Happy five months. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Our deck also has no real way to deal with cards like that, so it's kind of frustrating, but... Oh, I guess we have Invoke in the sideboard. Don't have another Tribunal, I guess. Yeah, that's not a Tribunal at all. Miss Vixen with the resub. Thank you so much. You guys are great. Really appreciate it. Yep, that's what we were afraid of. So we're going to go to the base here because it doesn't really make much sense shooting a 2 2. Now we'll shoot a 2 2 because we're also going to draw a card with Dragon's Horde. And shoot another dude. No, the same dude, I guess. Two, three, four, five, six. So we can actually play Dragon Sword and either Rekindling Phoenix, Baraska's Contempt, or Double Lava Coil. Hmm. These are the questions. Or we could just play Rekindling Phoenix and... No, we can't do both. We only have two red. We can play Contempt and Lava Coil, which is not as good. Hmm. <clears throat> <sighs> Actually, don't know what to do here. I think it's actually I, I want the rekindling phoenix down. So considering we can't do anything else, I'm gonna play this and phoenix. And we're not attacking because if we attack and they if they if we attack and then they attack, we block. They, we still take four, which is actually okay, I guess. I don't want to take six though. But I do want to actually close out this game. If they're at thirteen, like this is a lot of damage in the air. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, we'll see. I don't know. I could see either way. I could see holding back and playing defensive here, but I could also see just trying to close out this game as soon as possible. Oh, they also gain they also gain infinite life, so. Like they're gonna gain six here, which is pretty brutal. Oh, one thing I don't like about Phoenix is that it doesn't survive deafening Clarion. That's one thing I'm not thrilled about at this juncture. Five, this is nine. Another Niv Mizzet, that's not ideal. So we can actually Lava Coil this guy, shoot this, Baraska's Contempt to this guy. And we're not in terrible shape, I guess. And we're gonna draw some cards here too, which is nice. And we actually have enough for double Lava Coil and then kill something else, too, so. You. This ability will target this dude on the top. <clears throat> and then this one to target you. And shoot you. All right, well, they're dead on board, so let's hope they don't. Yeah, I think actually that worked out pretty well. All right, then. Our deck is sweet, and we should feel sweet about it. Remember when Opie had some dudes? I do. Mm -hmm. 
I kind of want to invoke here. This is a deck that has a bunch of things. I'm not a big Charter Course fan, and Dive Down's probably not great. I guess the only thing they're getting rid of our guys with we can invoke, and I'd rather just gain the four life. Uh, Steam Vents into both of these seems great. Yeah, we can play this. I'll keep this. All we need is a white source, and we have Search for Esconta to help us with that. I'm watching your YouTube videos right now, too, at the same time. That doesn't seem good. Tin Man, what's going on, buddy? I was going to F6 there, and I was like, I don't have to do that here. It's real weird to not have to... Uh... Okay. Well, double Deafening Clarion, double Nickel Bolas. We don't have a fourth land or a white source here. So, Clifftop Retreat off the knob, or Glacial Fortress, maybe? I will reluctantly accept a Sacred Foundry. Uh, I'm going to Graveyard you. Because we have the top card and then two cards next turn to hit a third land. Or fourth land, rather. So we're not really looking for a fourth land specifically. We're just looking for a white source here. Uh, you are not allowed to stream with me tomorrow. It is a single-player event, unfortunately. Alright, one-time white source. Uh, I'll keep it. It turns on Nicol Bolas and Contempt. Which is pretty strong. Any other land lets us play Elder Born as well. Uh, tomorrow is the Twitch Rivals event that is noted in my... in the video in the uh, literal stream title. Sky first strike? No. Oh, so we take five here and they get a third guy. That's pretty good. White source incoming, please. Um, I'm going to graveyard that. We already have one and like, yikes. So if we block here, we take four. If I exile this guy, we take four. But we really only take two because we're going up to 11. Vintage Cube does start Wednesday, correct. gonna play Nickel Bolas here. Yep, that seems good. <clears throat> yep, we're definitely exiling you. Um, yeah, that's a graveyard. We just want to hit lands. Like, oh my god, we have Invoke for this or this. We have Vraska's. Con we have uh, Deafening Clarions. 26 lands, and like, it's actually staggering how much problem, how many problems we're having with lands right now. <laughs> Pay two life. Boo. So now we now we have another thousand life in hand, which is nice. Oh, they did that right now. That's great for us. Uh, I'll keep that. Uh, no, we have no idea who our, our opponents are. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can actually go invoke this and collect. No, we can't. We only have one white. A boo earns emote? What would that even look like? 
So we're definitely attacking here. I think it's just Clarion here. Reason being, like, if we get rid of this, uh, we're still taking three. So we're only gaining one from this. I'd rather kill everything, gain four, and then gain another four off this. Okay, well, we're probably killing that instead now. Uh, library. Because we can actually play both of these, which is nice. I want to discard Eldestreborn because they can just make we guys. Begin. No, that's the wrong one! Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh. Should still be fine. No, it's not. I, we don't want them drawing two cards. That's actually terrible. It's literally strictly worse than this one. I that was a misclick. Um. Yeah, that's fine. We can get rid of that for now. Yeah, that was terrible. Oh, God. They just look the same. Like, they both have, like, a very symmetrical, like, grid drawing with a with kind of a circular, like, face in the center. It's really weird. Like, they both have a very similar look, and that's kind of what threw me. Um, and we're going to shoot this guy. Even if they play another guy, like, we can still block here, so they're not attacking. Yep, and now they have 10 power on board all of a sudden. Wow, this game is completely different now. This is unbelievable. I, you don't think I can lose? I, I think we're it's very easy for us to lose. We have a Teferi and a Sarkon and we can't even activate. We can't flip Nicol Bolas because we can't activate it. And I think we're actually pretty close to, to losing here. <laughs> they draw two cards a turn. I, I don't think... Like, even if we attack for 9, they still gain 8, which is pretty insane. <sighs> that was so huge. Seems good. Yep, this is, yeah, this is, we, we made one mistake, and it was a misclick. It wasn't even intentional. I literally verbalized the thing I wanted to do, and it still didn't matter. Why are we saying punt now? Like, it's literally five... It was like five minutes ago. It was like ten minutes ago. I have no idea why we're still saying it's punt. Why does... Why does Sarkon have fly? Oh, because it's a, it's a keyword on the card. So this guy's gonna take three. It's still gonna. It's still gonna live, which is really obnoxious. And we don't have any way to draw another card, so I'm just gonna go face. Here. All right. 
One time invoke, please. It lets us play Teferi, it lets us play Sarkon, it lets us gain four. One riches buck. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but I accept. Well, that is not what we're looking for. Who can we get back? Maven Fen. Where's I don't. Oh, I guess this is the only option, huh? Our graveyard has nothing in it. All right, vampire it is. Hey, it blocks. Moment of Craving is actually decent here. Oh my god. Immortal Sun, dude. I mean the deck looks the deck is greedy, but it doesn't it doesn't have any super uh ridiculous issues. BSP4, thank you so much for the for the cheer, really appreciate it. Graveyard. Decline. And... Uh, I guess it's just face here. Wow. Wow. End search. Alright. I'm just going to play this. Enters tapped. They have three guys. I really we're gonna go to two, so we have to block all of them. No attacks. And the turn. Did we lose life? Oh, if they lost life last turn? Oh, alright. I guess we should have. Yep. I'm scared of like misclicking more than anything in this client. Like that's most of my Yep, that's pretty bad. <laughs> just absolutely have it all. I can't believe that one immortal sun play and just literally turn the entire game. That's really obnoxious. Just, oh, this guy too, huh? Okay. I'm bad at magic and have bad hair. Wow. I mean, they could do nothing here and then just alpha next turn and probably kill me, but... Alright, 
lava coil ain't bad. I guess we're going face here. That does get rid of this guy. We really need to find an answer for the Sanctum Seeker. It's actually pretty ridiculous. Graveyard. Decline. Niv miss it. Not gonna do it. Alright, we're actually gonna shoot this. One time. All right, moment of craving is not nothing. So this is one. This is four, five, six damage. So we can actually. Oh, dang. So we have. If we lava coil you, we can add one more point to you, which will be a five, five, and you'll be a five, four. Moment of craving would deal two. We're also gonna draw cards. So we're gonna actually shoot this. Oh my god, these planeswalkers at this point, son. One time, one time. Yes! Do we have enough for it? I don't think so. One, two, three, we do! Wow, this game is insane. I'm going to say no attacks here. Jesus. How many cards do we have left in our deck? 23? Not sure how I'm still alive. Yep. This is actually incredible. Uh, they're definitely not decking themselves. They're at they have 30 cards. Definitely on Clar deafening Clarions that we have. I think we have all of them in the deck. We, we drew three, so there's one Clarion, one Invoke left in our sideboard. I don't think I'm at a point where I want to block with. I'm not throwing away Nickel Bolas just yet. Um, yeah, I mean, keeping this is basically the same as. Okay, these lands have to go. We had to get rid of a Clarion for that. So that guy's gonna die automatically, so we'll shoot this dude. I think I'm gonna kill this actually. Definitely Clarion is probably the, the pick. I was just so excited about No, actually, we go to 10, so we're not dead yet. One, we go block, block, one, two, three, four, yeah, all right. So we can still play something else. One, two, three, four, five, and play. Actually, we can activate a Sarkon to draw. Told me I should do this. Um, choose Island. Shoot this guy. Raska's Contempt, another one, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. We could also play Teferi, untap two. We take four here, which is actually not bad. Teferi dies. Now Teferi lives. Um, we can also get rid of the this, but then Teferi dies. We have another Teferi, I guess. And we have Syncopates in the deck somewhere, don't we? Uh, let's go no attacks. Uh, let's see, it doesn't matter. Oh man. Alright, so they're drawing one card a turn now, which is actually fantastically reasonable. Now I think we win the game. 
And then we still have a third game to go. This is actually pretty insane. I have no idea how we're still alive. So we go to six, but then we go to... Oh no, they had three of them. Yikes. Alright, well. How many cards do we have left? Uh, graveyard. 15 cards left in our deck. How did we know we had two glacial fortresses on the top of the deck? We're getting there. There's an issue with the deckmaster. I mean, I don't know what it would be, and I don't know how to fix it. Uh, I'm gonna keep everything on top of the library at this point because we have 13 cards in our deck, and I really don't want to just die. Oh, I know where every card is because I've put them in an order. That's pretty hilarious, actually. Um, let's do this guy. They always put the options at the top, right? Sarkon is not great. We'll just put in... Uh, going to play everything in our hand. We have no reason not to. It's nice to not have a time limit. Like, as long as I play every turn reasonably, um, we're in good shape, so... Yeah, I can keep you. Decline. Uh, what are we getting back here? My graveyard, anything? No. Nope. Clown's graveyard. I guess we're just getting. Yeah, we'll just get a Maverin, and then we can actually attack with Sanctum Seeker. I really want to draw two cards here. <laughs> it's kind of weird to say, right? I've never actually said those words before. I don't need this. I need this. Hold that thought. Oh, that'll do, I guess. So we get, a, yeah, we get a token there. We gain a life. Oh, that was a. Uh, oh, we won a game. 
I thought that was game two, and I was like, oh, we're going to have to go to game three. Wow. All right. Our deck is sweet. Seems good. I don't like see both of these lands come into play tapped. I think that's still fine though. We have search. Gives us a white, we only need a black. I'm gonna keep this hand. That did take forever, my god. Boy, did we make it hard on ourselves. Oh, a water gave is actually perfect here. Um, it, I mean, I wish we led with Clifftop. I was thinking of leading with Clifftop because we have more lands that would make uh, Sulfur Falls come into play untapped than we do Clifftop Retreat. But I also, if we didn't hit a blue, if we hit like a Dragon Skull, I guess if we hit like a. Well, actually, I have no idea what we could have hit that wouldn't have let. Eh, other Sulfur Falls. Um. Yeah, we can keep this. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna turn down a land at this point. We'll play this so we can play either Deafening Clarion or Vraska's Contempt. Nope, not that. Or Nickel Bolas next turn. So. Or oh, are they not playing anything? On. Okay, they probably. Oh, Detection Tower, eh? If it's a black source, I'll probably keep it. Still not in a position to throw lands away. What's up, Peej? Um, yeah, you can stay. And we have Eldest Reborn next turn. So, that's pretty good. Well, Fof, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Long time no see, Moonfrayer. Yeah, the, the invoke was very good off of search. However, I was <laughs> immediately almost regretting that I didn't get the, uh, the Deafening Clarion. But honestly, I think... Uh, in that situation, the Deafening Clarion would have actually been worse, maybe, in hindsight, because I was able to clear the board anyway. But getting the Immortal Sun off the board was ex an extreme priority. We just played Nicol Bolas into Teferi. This deck is exactly what I want. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Are you drafting after the standard portion? Uh, not after this standard portion. I'm going to be practicing all day because tomorrow there's a 10k Twitch Rivals event that I've been invited to. Plus, the only draft format right now is Ultimate Masters. So, I figured this will be perfect into Wednesday, which is going to be um, Vintage Cube. And I already have, like, three stipulations for the Vintage Cube lined up. So, if you guys want stipulations, definitely do that. Definitely helps me out over the holidays. And it's a way to support the stream. So, really appreciate that. What does practicing entail? Uh, what you're watching right now. Playing standard. The Twitch thing starts at 1 a p.m. Eastern tomorrow. 1 p.m. Eastern is when the first round starts. Man, this Deafening Clarion is actually going to be pretty decent against them right now. It's kind of awkward. One, two, three. Uh, we can graveyard that. We already have Dragon Skull Summon in hand. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah, this. I think this match is over. No time for a break. Well, the game's over, not the match. We still have another another round. Another game. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm suspect on the Rekindling Phoenix just because it does die to Deafening Clarion, which is not ideal. But here in this in this deck being able to give your four fours and five fives lifelink while killing most of the opponent's stuff is pretty strong. Oh, we're just getting two elves back, huh? A bold strategy. One, two, three, four. I mean, if we draw like a Niv Mizzet here and we get to play Niv Mizzet into uh, into draw a card with Tefri, it's pretty sick. But we did not get to do that. I mean, we get to flip Nicobolus, which is also pretty good, I guess. Why be a beast when I can be a god? Why be a beast when I can be a god? That's what I say. You're right. Uh, we don't have anything to cast here, so. Flip of the bolus. That's Italian for flip the bolus. Wow. So worldly. So worldly. Uh, why didn't it show me that there was a Carnage Tyrant in the graveyard? I mean, I'll just get it next turn. But, like, I went to usually... Oh, well, there's another one. Um... I'll graveyard that. We already have one in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. So we can actually kill the elf and then play... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... This is probably what they can see. No? A bold strategy, Cotton. Uh, if I hit cancel, does it... I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright. There you go. There you go. All right, so again, I always, I always find myself taking the Charter Courses out. I wonder if Thief of Sanity... Thief of Sanity is actually probably pretty good here, I would imagine. I want to take the Clarions out. We can just use, like, Spot Removal instead. Maybe we'll add one Clarion. 2018 was the real Thief of Sanity. Wow, ain't that the truth? Okay, I wasn't sure if it, if it, if I hit cancel, like if it was just like failing to find, or if it was like just not using the ability at all. I didn't want to waste four loyalty and not get something if I wanted to. Perhaps I was considering seeing uh, how much his ultimate cost. But 
Good to know. I mean, this has all the lands I want. I'm going to keep this hand. Two Nicobolus is awkward, but what can you do? And another land. Seems good. But it does not seem good. It seems bad. And we also have three blue and three red, so we're in good... Wow, another, another land. Okay. Uh, I don't select the most packages option just so I get a stream of cards in the mail. I usually select it because it's cheaper. Wow, do they just duress us and whiff? Because that's pretty cool. <laughs> well, I mean, it would be it would be cooler if we actually had spells. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight lands to two spells, and they're both the same, so that's no good. But oh, look, fashion will late to the party. You gotta kill Nicobolus here, right? They know we have a second one, though, so... Draw and fire. So now they lose their last card. And they can't kill Nicobolus with Vivian next time. Wow, more lands, huh? Okay. This is an unreal amount of lands. Say that to your face. All right, that's fine. The scheduled delivery for my new chair actually says scheduled for tomorrow, but it says it's out for delivery today, so. This is actually ridiculous. Also, if you hit all attacks, it'll just attack their face. It never gives you the option to attack Vivian, which is kind of obnoxious. I learned that the hard way yesterday. Well, next turn we do get to flip Nicobolus if they don't have an answer. T. Ravis, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Oh, I guess they do. Must be nice. That T. Vraska's contempt, huh? How many players in the Twitch thing? Uh, slightly under 60, I believe, if my math is correct. I won't hide from the you know what? I'm not done yet. He's not done yet. Uh, let's go watery on this guy. So I don't know what that means. Anybody with FedEx experience know if it's gonna get here today or tomorrow? Yeah, that's what I thought too. But the it's weird because the thing hasn't changed. Yep. A lot of things just happened this turn. I don't like it. Uh, it will be streamed from my channel and other channels as well. This is a, a ridiculous amount of lands. I can't believe we're still drawing lands. Literally have nothing to do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 lands to four spells, five spells. That's, uh, that's unreal.
Like, I'm not crazy, right? Like, that's a ridiculous amount of lands, right? Oh, uh, let me oh, I'll fall and tap this one. Jesus. Yeah, jokes on you, buddy. I wish it. I wish I knew what the, what cards were revealed to my opponent, because then I would play those cards. But I have no way of knowing like what's revealed, right? As soon as I think I'm getting too old for this. Well, we're not dead yet. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lock here. Because we know, like, once once our card is revealed, it's over here, right? So I want to be able to play that Glacial Fortress and not one of the other two that they don't know about, which is awkward. back here jade light ranger merfolk branch walker that's less impressive but i guess it's better than land right what's going on sammy oh if we play any instance of that card that would be great i guess we're dead do -do 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 -do. I mean, definitely Claren's worth it because even like it, definitely Claren's great because it just gets rid of the. I'm gonna take out the thieves. They just don't have any ways to deal with Thief of Sanity. I like Thief of Sanity. I'll take out the dive down. I'll bring in another Clarion. Take out the Phoenix. Bring in another Clarion. They got the syncopates. Bring in a Vraska's Contempt and. Yeah, I'll keep a dive down in. Actually, Star would have probably been good too. I never bring in Star because I'm just like. It just seems so expensive, but I know that's wrong. Um, yeah, I'll keep this hand. Third turn Dragon's Horde into Nicol Bolas into Tefri would be great. So everyone thinks, yeah, everyone's like, Star is specifically for this. And I'm like, yeah, well, I, I just didn't know that. <laughs> so I might actually just kill this guy before he gets any larger. This card's actually hard to deal with once it gets to the five range. Well, that makes it more manageable. I just want to be able to, like, because next turn we can Lava Coil and activate this, where if we Lava Coil, we're not going to do anything else with the two mana, so. I mean, I assume they're going to Vraska's Contempt this, which is whatever. to the surprise of no one. Ba -do -do. 
Boop, -doo -doo -doo. I kind of like Eldest Reborn here. They don't have a lot of pressure on the board. We could also play Teferi and then just dies, so that's not ideal. Could play Vraska's Contempt, draw a card. I like 5 drop here because if we get... Yeah, this is fine. I mean, if we hit any land, we can play Nicobolus Lava Coil, which is great. How was the trip? Tell me what you did. Uh, I What was the thing you did that I wanted to make fun of? What was that great story that you had? Oh, the Gordon Ramsay story. Yeah, that was great. The Hell's Yeah, I went to Hell's Kitchen. What do you get? Another walker and a branch walker? So many walkers. Alright, well we're gonna Vraska's contempt this guy now, I guess. Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Like you do. Oh, now we have to discard something. So long, Wild Growth Walker. All right. We did not draw land. So the problem is if we play Nicobolus and they kill it, they we take five. And that's kind of rough. Um, We can go to eight, play Nicobolus, and Lava Coil this guy. Rather Lava Coil this guy, but I feel like that we, we've missed our window. We could also just Vraska's Contempt and Lava Coil and just put them with nothing on board. But then if they go land Carnage Tyrant, we're like, oh, well, we're basically dead to that. Well, we can't get Bolas back if they if they exile it with, like, Thrasher's Contempt. I mean, if they go untap Vivian Reed... Kill Nicol Bolas. I guess that's fine, but... This has two counters on it? Hmm. I think we're just going to draw a card here. We're going to take two anyway to kill this, so it's not like we're saving any life. Uh, we'll go Water Grave. Whereas next turn we can play both of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, and still play this. I don't feel like we're in terrible shape. I think I got rid of an Assassin's Trophy when I have Nicol Bolas on board. That's fascinating. And we have Eldest Reborn. Yep, that's what we we're afraid of. Wild animals I like. People, not so much. So we can go Teferi. One, two, three, four, five. Play a land, untap two, and then kill Vivian Reed. Now we're gonna tuck. Now we can't do all the things. Oh, they're not actually getting rid of. Thank you. Wow, this is actually great for us. Elk Tears, Frank, you're a true treasure of the Magic Community. Your content never gets dull, and you have one of the most unique and original attitude styles humor out there in the Magic Community. Proud to be part of I am proud to have you as a friend, buddy. Thank you for saying so. Um, well. Do they just want to give me this Wild Growth Walker? That's unfortunate. If only we had a way to get rid of you before things went. One, two, three, four, five, six... Hmm. 
a lot of options here. I want to get rid of both of these. <laughs> they have a Midnight Reaper in hand, which is not going to survive. We can also just flip Nicol Bolas if we play a land. Which would put him to four. Oh, uh, we did not show the stream the playmats. The sad thing is I can't kill her normally and put her into the graveyard, so we're going to just exile this. Lava coil. We should have actually played this. Actually, no, I don't want to I don't want to take the damage here. Um I don't think we're attacking. I'd rather just double block this guy if it attacks. Like we know they have Midnight Reaper. Like I feel like I don't know, maybe we could have attacked. I felt I also felt pressured by the rope there, so. Yep, and of course they. Sure. Well, now we're just chump blocking this. <laughs> so they put the Carnage Tyrant on top, which is fine. Boy, these lands are something else. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. You need to take a time out. I should have actually played it differently. That was a mess too. A mess, a misplay. No attacks. So we know you have Carnage Tyrant in hand and one other card. Do you have another Carnage Tyrant in your graveyard? No. Do I have anything in my graveyard? No. So if we flip this, we still have no way to deal with Carnage Tyrant. Yep, that's a dude. One down. No time for a break. Okay, so what we can do is play one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this has yet to work for me. Um, I flip this. I, I actually I'm gonna untap two lands with Teferi. But I can't use the mana at the end of my turn. I have yet to figure out how to do that. Nothing good there. Nothing good there. So let's just draw two, I guess. This is unmatched. Um, resolve this. Okay, and then it's still... Okay, cool. Alright, that worked. It worked that time. I mean, they can kill Teferi, which is fine, because then it gives us another turn. We can play Niv-Mizzet, we'll draw a card. If we actually... If we get to activate this, we draw two more cards, which is actually, like, four cards... No, it's actually two. We deal two, two more damage. Oh, that was me. I actually didn't even realize that. Okay, I don't know why. Oh, because I put a thing on there. That was my bad. Yep, that's actually fine. <laughs> to totally fine. I mean, there's still we still have a it's a two turn clock. We still have to find an answer to this guy. Oh, yeah, I have a blocker. So, well, now we're probably good. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. So. Hurry. Thief of Sanity also blocks. My knowledge is endless. Wow, if we could hit two deafening Clarions, it'd be utterly insane. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine mana. So we can play Niv Mizzet and Thief, I think. Which still kills us, right? Jesus, Jesus. So this is what, 14 damage and we're able to block seven of it. So we're basically, we're still dead. So that kind of sucks. Literally had to be a second Carnage Tyrant. Well, that is unfortunate. We've activated both of these. Die if we had one more land. That if it didn't if one of these didn't come into play tapped, it'd be un unreal. We could actually one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. We would actually survive by one. Oh, we do untap. You're right. You're smart. We actually survive. I'm sorry, what happened? Cool. I didn't get to play anything on my turn. Cool. That was fun. I'm having a good time. Nope, that ain't gonna do it. Yeah, that's fine. I'll deal with it. Uh, bottom, because we don't have any white source and we don't know what we're playing against. And a white source. Like you do. Actually, both of these let every land come into play on. Untapped. We now have a plains, an island, a swamp, and a mountain. Oh, maybe I want treasure map instead of chart a course. That actually seems really good. It also gives you extra colors. Hit control. I don't have the. I don't have a shit button, unfortunately. Um. Let's play Charter Course first. This is a pretty situation. This is a pretty situation where we can discard a land, whatever that means. Well, wow. Sarkon would have been great here. But you deal with it. So next turn we're gonna go Sarkon or Nicobolus into Sarkon, Nicol Bolas, or Teferi, depending on uh, depending on what they do to our Nicol Bolas. Our Nicky boy. Uh, we are testing it out today, Daniel. <coughs> are you going to tuck this guy? That's, that's aggressive. Because now we can go land, Sarkon. Let us fight. Come to me. Red, black, Nicholas. Are they? Is this the mirror match? Are we playing the same deck? Only they have. I guess they don't have black. But they do have Deafening Clarion. We need 
need to move quickly. Wow, throw away a Teferi just to just to tuck a Nicol Bolas number two. Especially when I'm gonna re just redraw them. This is very interesting. I wish the numbers on these were larger. Like it's really hard to see this too, and it was hard to see the uh Um Oh, this is actually cool. Here we can do this. It was hard to see the two on um, the dragon horde as well. I'm going to discard Phoenix here, I think. Just so we can get rid of the Teferi. Never really good against everyone and everything. Yeah, I, well, I I actually made a claim before the set was legal, I think. Or actually right after the set was legal that Niv was probably the strongest creature in standard. That still feels true. Second Teferi. So we can actually go one, two, three, four, five. If we hit a land here. If we hit a land with Teferi, we can actually. They are coming. Nope, do not use that white. No, wait, hold on. We're playing Teferi first, right? And trying to hit a land. So we're going to use white, blue, uh, what is this, two different blues? So we have a blue and a black, so we have a red. Wait, hold on, this, wait, why isn't this working? Resolve. Okay, we figured it out. So we're hoping to hit a land off this. Oh, full control was on. That's why. That's pretty confusing for me. Oh, uh, we did not hit a land. Oh, well. We still have a Teferi on board, so I'm okay with it. And we have a Sarkon on board as well. Can't tell if this deck is good enough or not, but you're making a lot of cool animations happen, so that's fun. I mean, we really banked on. We were last time we were really going to be able to play a Nicol Bolas or a Teferi. If we hit a land off Teferi, we were able to play both. So I think that was a fair gamble. If we plus Sarkon. Uh, to draw a card, we still only get to play one. Oh, we just won the game. All right. Consider treasure map as Kanto over chart and horde. Uh, not over horde because horde is great. Um, and we've already mentioned. I already mentioned. I just literally just mentioned that treasure map is probably better than chart, of course. Uh, it's not better than Ascanta though. Search for Ascanta is is insane good. Kind of like invoke here. Um, I got two lava coils. I don't know what they have for creatures. What are the creatures in this deck, guys? 
I can look it up myself, but I don't. I'm 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 doing the streaming thing, so it's easier for you guys to just tell me. <sighs> kind of just like invoke. They have treasure map and search for Escanta. It's probably correct. Phoenix, huh? Well then. I wonder if Thief of Sanity can get them. Oh, I'll keep. No black source, but we are. We got a search here. Steam vents into Glacial Fortress on both sides. Alright, if you're going to opt, that's fine. Yeah, we're gonna we want a black source. We already have another land for this turn. So one of the top two cards, if it's a black source, we can play Nicobolus, which is kinda cool. Nay. I Nay. Let's I still want a fourth land. But I don't think we need it for... Oh, God. Alright, so we're still just hoping for... A black source here. Uh. I mean, it's not really greedy. We can't cast anything with a, with a Sacred Foundry. Like, it doesn't do anything. Unless you're referring to the deck itself. In which case... I mean, maybe, but there's 26 lands in the deck, so. Well, let's see what the wind blows in. Yep, can't beat a Ral into a Teferi with no real answers you know to what? either. I'm not done yet. Graveyard. Uh, uh, I think we're just dead here. We can't beat two active planeswalkers. We can't even cast our spells here. All right. Not taking the land was uber. No, it wasn't. Like, we can't cast anything in our hand. We have no spells that we can cast with that land. Makes no sense. <laughs> like, the fourth land is it's just like a blank fourth land. We have no five drops in our hand that we're trying to, we're trying to get to. We have black cards and everything costs under four. So, unless it's a swamp. Like, we just don't actually get to do anything. So it's just a... I want to take out the, all the Lava Coals. We're getting Thief of Sanity. I actually don't know what the Explosion Expansions are best against. Which feels kind of weird. Like, hitting a fourth land for the sake of hitting a fourth land just doesn't do anything. This hand actually seems really good. Huh. So, this guy. I don't hate a Banefire in the deck or the sideboard. <coughs> I'm going to negate this because it's just a very, very strong card that uh, kind of commands an answer. guy. Oh, next time we can play Search and Nickel Bullets. That's gas. I will call the dragons. Yep. 
That was a pretty good turn. Wow. Next turn we're gonna play Teferi. That seems good too. No blue mana up, which is pretty strong for us. Justice Strike, Nickel Bullets, sure. Keep up the pace. Um, we are gonna plus, but we're not gonna actually discard anything because our hand is very good. <coughs> so, sure. Um. Jeez, this is an awkward situation where I just keep it. Yeah, that's fine. We need to move quickly. Well, that was a nice one, because now we can just discard this excess Sarkon. We can't play Dragon Sword if we want to keep Negate up, which we do. So I'm going to discard the Dragon Sword and try to hit a land. We did not, but that's still fine. We get to Ultimate Sarkon next turn and keep up counters. Oh, we actually... Oh God, I always forget Teferi's ability. That's ridiculous, dude. That's ridiculous. I should not be forgetting Teferi's untap ability at this... I don't play standard enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. I always forget it every single time. Um, yeah, I'll keep that guy. Uh, I am going to transform this now. Well, that'll do. Teferi's ultimate does some does some damage. Apparently, twenty power in dragons is where you want to be in Magic the Gathering. Do you have a pack? I'm gonna open this pack right now. Come on, good times. Narcomiba, the opposite of good times. Okay. How do I get back to my event now? <laughs> um, oh, okay, resume. There we go. All right. You were right, having a swamp helped a lot. Yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. keep this hand we have a two drop a four a three drop four drop and a five drop which is nice we also have almost all the colors we need <coughs> uh not gonna run charter course out there yet we just don't need to i don't know what we're gonna discard now so i don't know what we're looking for so Well, that is something. Dragon Skull and Watery Grave into Charter Force. Or into Search for Escanta, huh? I think we can wait. <clears throat> like, we can just play Nicol Bolas, and if we get to attack, we don't have to discard, which is nice. Which standard was my favorite standard? I actually don't even know the answer to that. It might have been Lorwyn Block standard, because they didn't have a... Uh, not that they didn't have it. You can play pretty much anything. There was five color cruel control. There was Kipkin. Yep, that's annoying. Look, I can make you discard too.
Every time I'm waiting for a while, I always assume it's my turn and they're just waiting for me and I'm, I just forgot to pass priority. Well, that does not look like the case. They have search for us content and they drew an extra card off disinformation campaign and they missed the land drop. Uh, don't use the black source. I don't know why, but... Actually, don't use those either. Use this guy. I already put it in there. I'm gonna counter my chart, of course. I guess I could see you doing that. Seems aggressive. Didn't I learn my lesson with the hammer? Unfortunately, no. Can I flip this guy yet? I don't think so. I'm not really going to play Eldest Reborn here. That seems bad. Oh, they have their own Nicol Bolas in the graveyard? Maybe it's not that bad, actually. Maybe we just play it. Like, we don't get the sacrifice, but we, they, do, they have to discard something, and then we do get a Nicol Bolas. <coughs> yeah, we can wait. Too scary for me to play. <laughs> Demir is spoopy. Well, use it or lose it, I guess. They're not really doing much, though, is great. So, like, I mean, they're missing land drops. I might have even been convinced to play this first, just so we get the, uh, the trigger, but... Yeah, why didn't they play that first? Then they could bounce it to the hand. Uh, let's get rid of Lava. Or, uh, Clarion, rather. Alright, well... I flipped my search for Ezcon. Cool. <coughs> oh. And we're gonna play the land because it lets us flip this guy. If it survives and we hit another land. I mean, it's, we're gonna have to automatically discard Lava Coil, but whatever. It also turns us off to, uh, not turns us off, but like it, it, it makes disinformation campaign less scary. They also don't have enough mana to Vraska's Contempt. Oh, second Elvis Reborn, sure. Well, I have no card. I'm going to play this. I'm going to flip this. Anything good? No one can stand in my way. Nicobolus. Uh, well, they actually have Eldest Reborn in hand, which is awkward. <sighs> they have two cards, so whatever we do, they're going to like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They can either flip this or cast their own Eldest Reborn, unfortunately. <clears throat> so they cast Eldest Reborn. This Eldest Reborn goes off, so they get another Nicobolus back. They're just doing way more than we are. So let's actually do one of these. Actually, does that even do it? Like, because Nicol Bolas goes to three. So then they Eldest Reborn. I guess we can sack Nicol Bolas. But then they get Nicol Bolas back. Oh, God, this is really confusing. I don't think there's actually a profitable way we can we can shape this. Unfortunately. Yep. So if we sack... They get a Nicol Bolas. We have no cards. Sure. But they only get to keep one anyway, so... Yeah, that's fine. 
So if they play Eldest Reborn, we just actually get rid of this Nicol Bolas, right? Seems fine. We don't lose our board. We get to keep Nicol Bolas unless they have an answer for it. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. They attack first. So yeah, we might as well get rid of... Might as well get rid of this. Oh, I think my chair is here, which is really exciting. So now they play Eldest Reborn. They sack this Nicol Bolas. But they have nothing on board right now, which is nice. So we've kind of... Yep, that ain't gonna do it. I just wanna make sure they're actually leaving it. Uh, as opposed to coming to the door, knocking on the door, needing a signature, bringing it back to the truck, and then not doing anything. <coughs> Um, I guess we should have actually kept the land in hand because now we have a Sarkon that we can't really do much with, but... Yep, I can make that. Oh, he's just going back to his truck, so there is a... Oh, wow. How perfect. If you told me I would find you here. Yep, so they get a Nickel Bolas back. Bolas told All things considered, we're not in terrible shape. Like, they get a Nickel Bolas, but we can actually... Top deck something, I guess. Witness omnipotence. Did they try to flip the bolus? Concede in sideboarding, they're like, you know what, I'm out. <laughs> oh, wow. That shame scoop was amazing. Okay, so they took our bolus, and when they tried to flip it, whenever you try to flip a creature that turns into a planeswalker on the other side, uh, it exiles first, and then it goes to the other person's side. So they exiled their nickel bolus, which was actually our nickel bolus, and it came back into play as a planeswalker on our side. So that's pretty cool. And uh, then they conceded because of shame. And then we went to the sideboarding, and then they conceded the entire match, not just the game, due to the shame. Wow. That was ridiculous. Wow. What a time to be alive. Oh my god, the green was so real. They had Nicobolus, and then they just give us the Planeswalker version for free. Just, you know, because YOLO. Like, <laughs> okay. I appreciate it. I mean, it's an easy mistake to make. It's hard to keep track of, like, where the Bolus came from, right? Like, there's there's Boluses in my graveyard. There's Nicobolus in his graveyard. So it's not super easy to keep track of which one you have in play. And then on top of that, you also have to remember that when this is a creature that when it flips, it exiles and then goes back to the owner. <clears throat> Which is not super common. Because most creatures that flip before Magic Origins... Uh, I'm going to keep that. Would just flip. Just normal flip. Nothing fancy. This is why I added the Rekindling Phoenix. Just so I have another, another threat. I don't know if I love it because it does die to Deafening Clarion. I'm just going to keep... But, it is hard to deal with if you don't have Vraska's Contempt or Lava Coil. Those are like the two cards that actually deal with this guy. I don't think Owner and Controller is a, is a, com a complex thing that people need to be taught. I think the thing that people need to be taught is that... Um, yeah, definitely keep in that guy. It's, it's more about like... Uh, not being 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 uh, aware, being cognizant of which one is on the card, because sometimes you just miss it. You're like, oh dang, I thought it said controller, but it really said owner. So, I think they know what it means if they just gra if they just are aware of which one it is. 
Yeah, it's only Planeswalker flip cards that exile. But again, they're not that super heavily played, especially in, like, standard. So when you look at, like, Huntmaster of the Fells or Delver of Secret, those flip without exiling. So if you steal one, you are more than... You're more than... You just keep it, you know? Oh, another one, eh? All right. Fancy seeing you here, Moon Frere. Um, I'm going to graveyard this because we don't have a white source yet, so it's going to be a white source. It's not. Okay. Much of this guy scurry. Woo! And that'll do. Apparently, getting rid of exiling two Doom Whisperers. That Phoenix animation is so gassed. That's literally me when it's Chicken Sunday. That's every day, Billy. Are you saying that's you every day? Hmm. I'm going to bring Thief of Sanity in. Probably negates. I don't know what they're playing. I think it was just... It looked like just Demir. Also, Billy, what's going on, buddy? Good seeing you. One more month till stream, baby, for me. Is it only... Was that eight months? Oh, Billy with the eight month sub. I didn't even see it, dude. So sorry. There's a lot going on. I also feel a little, uh. <laughs> a, little, a little out of it. A little out of sorts. Tim the Pally, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this hand. Steam Vents lets all the other ones come into play untapped. We also have Search. This this, this is a good hand. This is a perfect hand. A second black would be nice, but it's not uh, super necessary just yet. This deck is amazing. This deck does everything I want it to do. Jokel Goblin, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. You guys are great. Yep. <clears throat> what did they take? Search? Oh, that's that's good. Uh, I'm gonna syncopate this because, well, it's better than not syncopate. Um. Uh, just a little down. A little... It's... I don't know. It's it's fine. I'll be fine. Oh. Fascinating. This guy getting countered? They don't have double blue. I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, we get to roll out Tefri into into niv so that's kind of cool. And we dumped, I guess. All right. Finally, got there. Oh, I see. An Eldest Reborn. How nice. Some guys have all the luck. Did I just play Thief of Sanity? No, we're going to play Teferi. Thief may get a card for us if it hits. Teferi definitely gets a card for us. Oh, that's too bad. I thought we were going to be able to play Sarkov. Right, next time we can play both of these, and that's okay. Or we can just... Yeah, we're just going to get rid of Thief here. Sarkhan's a better engine, and Veraska takes care of whatever they get back with this, so. Oh, them having one card is nice. Hurry. Oh, ooh. Unfortunately, these two do not combo together. Um, so we're just gonna play. We're just gonna play Phoenix here. Let's untap both of these dudes so that we can Vraska's Contempt whatever they get back it will oh they have a lot of options here what's up Badger good seeing you buddy
That chicken cooks its... <laughs> It's a, it's a solid, solid point there. Solid point. Let's slow this down. I kind of want to Vraska's contempt this, just because if they have a counter spell, I want to be able to resolve Eldest Reborn and have it off the board. And we don't get to do that. If yeah, I think we're gonna still try to. Oh. Okay. That chicken cooks itself. Oh, now I feel actually good about result. I have one card. I'm still not going to risk it. We only have six lands, so even if it's a... Even if it's um, like a spell pierce that still counters it, I'd rather just get rid of it. Eldritch Reborn's still going to be good in the future. Also, our Tefri's at seven, which is pretty busted. This should be the chicken. Cook yourself, chicken. <laughs> Can't stop laughing at that. That's unbelievable. Oh, man. Oh, they just lost because I guess Sarkon, Teferi, and Rekindling Phoenix. When is this Twitch Rivals event happening? A lot of pros are praying for it. Uh, tomorrow at 1 p.m. There can't be that many pros. I think there's only like three or four pros that are actually involved in it. Most are just casual streamers from... Shut up and take my money! Have an early Christmas badger. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it, dude. Man, you are a generous soul. You are you are the best, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. My goodness. Merry Christmas, buddy. Or happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. It's all okay. After we finish this, I'm going to go grab my chair real quick and bring it in, take the, the customary break, and then we'll do some more testing after this. More so the rent was doing it, man. <laughs> Every time I see you in the chat, I'm just gonna I'm gonna mess it up myself. I'm gonna be like, I'll donate a dollar twenty six to myself. <laughs> oh, it's Teacher Chris ninety. I'll play first. Oh, this hand is not good. Uh, this hand's better, but not great. If we can get one, I'm gonna put you on the bottom. I really want a Watery Grave or a... I'm going to put this on there because if we get any other land, we can play Syncopate for one, which is nice. Oh, I see. I see what's going on here. Well, at least we have Deafening Clarion mana. So next turn we can Syncopate something if it's like a History of Benalia. Eh, it doesn't matter. Can we watch you build the chair? No, that's weird. Don't be weird. Well, this is awkward. Eh, I guess it's fine. Oh, a steam vents. Okay. Huh. We're going to play this tapped. Next turn we're going to play... What did this? What's what did there? Where did this come from? Oh, they just made it with the Hazda Marshal, Boros Challenger. Yeah, that's fine. I couldn't counter that if I wanted to. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> really, one twenty-six. I got you. Nice. Got him. Six oh one twenty-six. Fantastic. It's the perfect denomination. More like stink. I actually don't love syncopate in this deck because you're tapping out all the time. It's definitely, ha it's been useful at times, but like, that doesn't change the fact that, I think we just have to Deafening Clarion here. Actually, I guess we can play this. Do we, are we dead? We block here, we take one, two, three, four, five. They mentor on this, we actually take six. I'm going to play this, because next turn we can gain more life back with Clarion. And if we draw a land, we can also keep up single page for one. Anyone else getting an invalid command error prompt when they try running Arena? I don't, as you can tell. They're probably just going to Conclave Tribunal this guy. Oh, another Boros Challenger. The rich get richer. Oh yeah, this is going to be... Oh yeah, we're going to... We just have it all now. Oh, we can also block the Hunted Witness so that they have... Nothing left. Oh, this is going to be brutal. 
Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Jesus. Oh god. He had a family. I will choose both modes. That is correct. I'm going to take the dive down. I'll take the charts out. Bring in a Clarion. Bring in two moments. That's probably all we want. I don't think we need Invoke. They're going to have Conclave, and that's fine. I don't think invoking a History of Benali is great. Vraska's Kemp is fine, but we also have... Um, oh, we could have taken Cinco Pay down, I guess. Man, that match was... Woo. It was a heater. Um, oh god, I'm really tempted to keep this with a deafening Clarion, but I don't think so, man. Actually, double Lava Coil? Oh, this is a greedy hand, but it's not that greedy. One land, and we have two plays. Two lands, and we have lots of plays. I'm gonna keep this hand. We're on the draw. I think it's a gamble, but it ain't that much of a gamble, boys. And we got there. So we just need a red or a white source. All right, and we have it all. Um, if that creature would die this turn, exile. Well, that guy's not dying. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. So we're just gonna play Watery Grave here. Are we? Yeah, that's fine. We can take three from this guy. Well, that is a thing, isn't it? Shut up and take my money. And the world is right. <laughs> you can't just donate $50. Because it's uh, because it's uneven. You can't do that. That's not how donations work. Far be it for me to complain, but it feels wrong. I mean, it feels right, but it feels... I don't know. RPG Badger, you are the best, buddy. You are the ridiculous. That is hilarious. <laughs> Here you go. Oh my god. Well, thankfully we have this, but we don't- Oh, no, we actually good. We're good. We're good. We have a second red source. Play like a 1-1. Uh, one, one. A 1-1 one, one Dirtle. It, don't tell them how donations work. All right, that's a good idea. I should keep my my donation opinions to myself. Why not this guy? Why don't we attack with this guy? Some people just dollar <laughs> seventy three. Well, no, this is awkward. Are you gonna get rid of my dragon sword? Are you watching, Teacher Chris? Because that's aggressive, dude. I guess it does keep us off deafening Clarion, which is understandable. But there's gonna be a glacial fortress. Oh, that's any any red source. Sulfur Falls. I'll take two for steam vents. Any of these things is fine. That's not, literally not what we're looking for here. Oh god, I'm gonna vomit. There's gonna be a lot of vom coming out. Let me see if they fall for it. They're gonna, they're gonna refresh it. Yep, we're dead. Alright, just checking, just checking. It was probably still better to kill one of these because it's 4 damage. So, what is this, 1, 2, 3, 1, this is 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, yeah, we're actually just dead. Alright. Lava Coil doesn't seem great here. It's just kind of a 1v1. 1v1? 1 for 1? I do like... Actually, Negate doesn't seem terrible. Like, if they have Conclave and they have History. Eh, I guess that's fine. Shut up and take my money! I got... <laughs> God. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Josh... Josh, listen. Josh, Badger, and Villa, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the support, even though uh, it's because of your obsessive-compulsive natures. Still appreciate it. 
still uh, extremely grateful. And uh, uh, definitely keeping this. <clears throat> that, uh, it wasn't a great game. I'll say good game, though, because there, it's 1-1. One, one. All right, all right. <laughs> Why are they all denominations of 48? All right, well, this is basically... Oh, God. All right, so I'm just going to play an island here, I guess. No, I'd rather have this out. Oh, my God, Billy. Oh, that was actually a fine draw. I mean, we're just going to play Search for Azkhan here. We do need a white source, but this helps us get it. We also have a Sarkhan coming down, so... Nice. Uh, can I thank them? I can't thank them. I, I can't say thank you. That's a weird... That's a weird emote to leave out. <laughs> uh, graveyard, because we have no black sources. Alright, another Steam Vents. Seems... So we can play this, but now they have four power on board, so it's really awkward. I guess we're just keeping up that. I think we might be dead this round. I don't feel great about this situation. Shut up and take my money. And that's rent cooked for the month. You guys are amazing. Billy, Josh, Badger, thank you so much, guys. You are friggin' wonderful. Well, we're on to 2019, boys. Actually, is something... Is this... Hold on, this, this, look at this. Can we talk about this rent bar, how it's like awkwardly positioned? I don't like, oh, hold on. Uh, resolve, the, uh. Thank you. Oh, God, it has to resolve. Dang it. DJ, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Is that a, uh, why are these all connected? Oh, because I'm moving. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. We're figuring things out here. Um, all right, this one I will counter because I don't have any. I don't. <laughs> I don't have any hope that this is. Well, they're out of timeouts. So we have one timeout, so I don't feel terrible with that. I was trying to do something on the stream though. Uh, graveyard again. Same situation. No white mana. Nope, that's not ideal. And by white, I mean blue. And black. And by black, I mean blue, I mean black. I don't have any idea what I'm saying right now. <sighs> Enter's tapped. Alright, so I think we're just dead due to our mana base here, unfortunately. What's the monthly breakdown? What, is that? what do you mean? As far as, like, who donated what? Oh, boy. Oh, God, why do they have two Adopto Vanguards? That's a hard card to deal with. I think we're dead here. And I've said that multiple times. Graveyard again. No white and no black here. Wow, a sulfur falls. Okay. Well, we had a good run. I think our deck is sweet. I don't think there's any real reason. There's no statistical reason why we wouldn't have gotten black or white that game. Either one would have helped us out. But, um, yeah, I'll take 4-2. And a cast down, which is uh, pretty unexciting. All right, 1,700 gold, and two of them are rares. Oh, okay. Vivian Reed is nice. And an Admiral Breckett, Beckett, Breckett Brass is uh, less nice, but still fine. I'll take it. Whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to check me out tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern time uh, as we play in the uh, Twitch Rivals uh, tournament stream which will be a 10k event and uh, it's pretty sweet so be sure to check that out you can also check me out at patreon and on twitch links are in the description below you can find the deck list in the link below you can also check out aaron kane custom deck boxes dot i think it's dot com either way the link for that is in the description if you use the promo code frank you will get for uh 10 percent off your order which is a pretty pretty big deal when you're uh when you're getting a nice custom wood deck box his, his work is amazing so be sure to check that out and you can check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. If you use that affiliate link, you will get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just ending the YouTube video, and I will see you next time.